it knew. Let's do the skin tone. Skin tone comes up here. It always fits it kind of be in kind of an orange, reddish mode. Close this down. I'm going to again tap the O key so I can see the mask. I'm going to do um, the entire skin tone in one fell swoop. You can see how quickly, if you, can't, if you can't hand tint an image in about 30 seconds, you're probably spending too much time on it. It actually will look better and more like an artist sculpted the coloring job the sloppier you are, because it will look less like a filtered, you know, something that somebody hit by buying an app on their iPhone. Okay? Um, and let's kind of zoom up here and tap that O key, and here's the skin tone. I did go over the teeth and the eyes, and that's where I'm going to use that uh, Option or Alt key to um, change the size of the brush. And um, let's actually add that. I want it a little bit bigger. I don't want to, even on something like this, I don't want it to be too sharp. And it could be technically, because it's kind of a, a subtle sepia, if I wanted to leave that with even a brown tint on it, that would be fine as well. So um, there you can see that. Okay, we're almost done with this image here. We've got lips left over, so we're going to hit New. I'm going to come over here to that swatch. We're going to go to now a little bit more of a red tint in here. And uh, let's zoom up. And we've got our brush. I'm going to take it down. Let's zoom up even more because I do want it to you know, get, not get too sloppy around the lips. Tap the O key so I can see my mask. This is one area where spill of color probably is not a real big feature. Okay, there is the red of the lips. I want to do a little blush in here. I'm going to come up here. Nice big soft brush here. I may, I mentioned also that I use density if I want to reduce the intensity of effect. The lips and the blush, I want to be the same, but I don't need that much red. So by taking down the density, I have the exact same adjustment. Click, click, and I've got a little bit of a blush to it. If I want to, if that's, you know, uh, if I want a little bit more red, I'll tap, tap. I'll take that brush up. I'll take that up just so you can see it. So I'm going to hide those pins, and here's my before. And actually, the before and after is a different job, so let's do that. Um, in our snapshots, we'll use this one as our before. Remember that copy, that's one I use a lot. I remember I always take snapshots before I get started. If you want to make, as a default, your before after, that little backslash key over by the delete key goes back to the way that Lightroom was opened. So that's a before and after to what you just did on this current you know, job that you're working on. If you wanted to go back to another snapshot, all you need to do is right click uh, on it and say, use this as the before, and that way you can take advantage of that backslash key to do our before and after. Okay. So here's before and after. And now what we can do is we can actually fine tune this. We have all our masks sitting here. There's that last one that we just created. Right? So um, let's fine tune this. So I can already see that that skin tone, looking at that other one, I want to make that a little darker. So it could be that I can intensify that orange a little bit. I do have um, saturation and hue. Hue is left and right, saturation is up and down. So if I come over here, I can make it a little bit more um, saturated. I can come over here and to that background, maybe make that a little darker. This time I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to go to exposure and now I'm going to darken that background. Again, in Photoshop, each one of these would be a separate adjustment. Color would be one, levels would be another one. Now I may want to take that clarity down, which is going to give me a little um, glow, halo around the hair. Right? So that right there. Now I've got already three layers in Photoshop to do this. One would have been a blur through a mask with a special blend mode. One would be a levels through a mask. And another one would be my hand uh, coloring through some sort of mask, probably. So um, really cool that we can do this. Here is our blue. Maybe the blue for the hair and that, we also take up clarity. So right now that's going to make the hair you know, more shiny in the blouse. We've got our 
here. If we want to give her a 10, we can take the you know, exposure down, but I don't think I like that. I think her color is fine. We have the lip color, looks fine, our background. I can fine tune any of these masks. I can see that you know, I want to fine tune that mask. And here is our before, after, before, after. 